name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you this morning, oh God. I give your name the praise this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. Oh God, anybody that's going through a bereavement, God. Hallelujah. That has lost a loved one. Hallelujah. Oh God, seek help, God. Don't hold it in, God. Don't hold all that stress in, God, like I did for years, God. I thank God today that I can say hallelujah. That I don't take the antidepressant medicine no more, God. Thank you, Lord. I feel better, but I'm glad that I can talk about it now. Because to lose my mama... And my sisters, I felt so alone. My 33-year-old sister died in my house. My other sister died the day before her birthday. We're not ever supposed to have favorites, and I know that. I love all of them. They all my sisters. But I had a special relationship with Tanya. My point is, hold on. And whatever you're going through, seek God. And know that he'll fix it. He'll fix it because he fixed it for me. And he can fix it for you. And don't pay attention to what people say. If you feel like you need help, get help. Because I did. And I can talk about it now and minister. And let people know because these are tears of deliverance. Because for many times I was bound about it. And had begun to turn to food again. People don't know my story or why I put on weight and different things like that. Different tragedies and stuff that has hit my life that made me go backwards. I'm in my 40s and I never ever smoked any type of drugs in my life. And I said it to say, my choice of drug was food. That's why I say people have not heard my story. There's so many blogs and different things like that and people telling this and telling that. But no one didn't seek Larry for the truth. So from now on, there is no interviews that I do with people and things of that nature. Some of it is due to the contracts that I'm recently engaging in. But some of it is because of the things that I'm doing now. And um, no one can tell my story like I can. And after a while, you get tired of people cutting and pasting and chopping what they want to air. It gets old. It gets very old. But I thank God that I am back now losing weight and walking and talking and um, doing well and taking one step at a time. One step at a time. But I had to come on here this morning just to tell you that I take no more antidepressant medicine. And I'm so happy about that because I have been on anti-depression medicine. Ooh, Jesus, help me. I have been on anti-depression medicine for at least seven years, eight years. And um, I'm no longer taking them. And I, I feel free. I feel free. Do I go to bed sometime feeling sad? Absolutely. And just just a couple months ago, my godmother um dropped dead on the telephone with me the day before the anniversary of my sister's death, which was which would have been March sixteenth, because she died on her birthday. So I say that to say I've had another incident down here. But my point is I didn't turn to food like I would have in the past. 
because I, I knew better. And at that moment, it was like something had gotten host to my body. And like, after I ate the food, I'm laying there like, what did you just do? Oh my God. And I wasn't thinking. So sometimes we don't think. I'm not a doctor, far from a doctor. So I don't know, but I do talk to a therapist and they help me to understand different things. But besides from that, I talk to the head therapist, the head doctor, hey, glory, which is Jesus, which is Jesus Almighty. That's who I talk to. I love each and every one of you, and I thank you for joining on this line. Those of you that can, please, please subscribe to my new YouTube channel. We can build it up. There are some huge things going on. And trust me, you will be cracking up in the floor. But if you hop on over to YouTube and subscribe to it, I would appreciate it. Just make sure you're subscribing to the right page. Please. It is 